If a customer gives you a payment not associated with a particular invoice transaction, you can enter this into Spire either from the Accounts Receivable or Sales modules. Payments on account can then be applied to future invoices or other transactions with ease. One place to enter payments on account is the Accounts Receivable module. You can either click the plus toolbar button to start a new entry and choose the customer, or locate the customer first and from within their AR screen, create the entry. However you start, choose the payment type to show the relevant information. Once the customer is known, select the payment method to determine which general ledger payment account will be debited. Choosing a credit card method will not initiate any processing, and that would have to be done separately. Ensure the desired payment date is here for accounting, and enter the payment amount in the total field. Other information you might want to keep track of is a reference value or check number, as long as the payment method is not an integrated credit card, and a memo for the reason for payment. If you would like to send a receipt form to the customer by paper or email, the print receipt option will prompt you to print a report after posting the transaction. When entry is complete, click the post button to create the accounting transaction to the payment and receivable control accounts and amounts and accounts can be modified if user security allows. This is followed by the Print Payment on Account Receipt Report screen if you want to create a customer receipt now. This payment can be seen in accounts receivable for this customer and the ability to reprint the receipt if desired. Payments on account entered and posted in accounts receivable are quicker to create. The other place to enter payments on account is the Sales module. Use the AR Payment Toolbar button on the Sales Order List screen, if user security is granted to allow access. From this screen, choose the customer providing the payment and ensure the payment date is correct. You may optionally choose a salesperson and territory, which default from the customer record, and a reference value and notes regarding this payment. Then click the Apply Payment button to open the standard sales payment screen. In the same way as creating payments on invoices, enter one or more payments through their associated methods and their amounts. Integrated credit cards and processing payments are supported here. Note that an order number is assigned to this payment, even though no items were purchased on this transaction. When entry is complete, click the Apply button. This brings up the same payment on account receipt report as is available in Accounts Receivable, to print or email for the customer. A general ledger accounting transaction updating the payment and receivable control accounts is created, with no opportunity to make adjustments. This payment can be found in sales history, along with other invoices, and the only details are comment lines for the payment amount and any notes that had been entered. Note that an invoice number has also been assigned to this posted payment. Payments on accounts from the sales module allow for integrated credit card processing and can be taken by staff who don't have accounts receivable access, as long as you don't mind using order and invoice numbers for these payments. When you are entering sales transactions in the point of sales module, taking payments is only available for the order and invoice in process and cannot be posted on account. If you want to create a payment on account, you need to detach the point of sale screen to a separate window by double clicking in the module list. Now you are able to open either the sales or accounts receivable module, whichever you have security access for, in order to use the respective process for creating a payment on account. After a payment on account has been posted and you wish to apply the payment to an invoice, this is a very easy procedure to do. From the accounts receivable module, or the Accounts Receivable tab when editing the customer, the list of open AR transactions will include both the payment and the one or more invoices outstanding. All you have to do is check the payment and the invoices, and then click the Apply button to link them together, which will suppress them if they net to zero. No accounting transactions are made here, you are simply associating the payment to the invoices, which are now connected and can be seen if you show completed transactions and expand the invoice to also display the payment. 
if you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.